Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on my E36 M3 and we're going to be fixing something that BMW is like notorious known for and it's a really important upgrade or a swap to do, not a swap, upgrade, to do uh, on your BMW, either it's a S50, S54, I think S65 also, I'm not really sure about that, but I know that BMW has had a lot of problems with this. And the thing we're going to fix is the rod bearings. The S50 engine, it's a really good reliable engine, but it does lack a little bit on the rod bearing side of things. So we do need to swap the rod bearings so we simply know those are fresh and I can just rip the car around with a clean sole. <laughs> uh, and I know that the S54 has the same issue because I swapped on my, uh, the rod bearings also on my S54 uh, swap uh, E46 coupe that I had a couple of years back. So um, Yeah, it's a job that simply needs to be done And I mean it's a really important job to do so if you do have a s50 or s54 and also new generations BMW They all suffer from the same mistake and that's rod bearings So it simply is a thing that needs to be done and uh, this is quite like something I consider a big big job So I will not do it myself because I'm not a mechanic uh, So I will let someone else do it But I will record the process and show you how it's done and maybe I can learn something myself And maybe you guys can learn something as well so so here is what I have bought. Uh, I have bought some King Racing rod bearings for the S50 B30. Here's the product number right there. And I have, when we are going to do this, you are going to go in from the bottom and remove the uh, floor, uh, floor pan. I don't know, what, what is, it? is that what it's called? I'm really sure. You go in from the bottom of the engine. And then, of course, all the oil is going to come out after you drain it. So we're going to fill it up afterwards with 10w60 oil and a fresh oil filter and also a gasket for the bottom of the engine i'm excited to get started and uh, we will today actually deliver the car to the mechanic and it will stay there overnight so the engine is cold and then we will begin tomorrow morning also remember to subscribe and like the video and now let's begin At day number two and the M3 is already on the lift and it is now time to drain the oil and we have to like lower all of the suspension components and like to actually access the bottom of the engine we will not like remove it but we will take like the whole sub front like subframe down from the car so uh, we're now ready to begin and I'm really really excited and I will now show you the process and how you like ish swap your rod bearings so this is exciting really excited to be doing this okay so now we have to like actually lift the engine up a bit so we can make clearance on the bottom of the engine between like the subframe and the engine so we can get that floor pan off and everything
now we have actually removed the floor pan of the car. You see that right there. So that's good and we got the gasket out and we also got the oil pump out right there and we also got the power steering pump out as well that needed to go out to make room for everything to get this out. So now it's actually time to start like dismounting all this and getting the rod bearings out and replace them with the new one. The King Racing rod bearings we got right there. So really excited to get those new ones in there and actually also excited to see the condition of the old ones. Are they swapped before? Are they not? I really think they are swapped, but we don't really know. But uh, it was exciting to see the condition of the rod bearings as it is right now. So exciting stuff. Now all of the rod bearings are swapped out and we can now take a look at the old ones. And as you see right here, it was, I will not say like overdue, but they are, as you see, they're worn. So it's time to change them. So I'm really glad that we swapped them out because yeah, they have like, you see right, like this one, for example, right there, that's not good. So if I were to like do a lot of burnouts and tap that rev limiter all of the time with that these kind of rod bearings not good or these are most likely swapped earlier but still it seems like it's a long time ago because they're yeah it's time as you can see they are have scratches on them they have loose like it's missing there a little bit of that film protection or whatever it's called that coating or what it is i don't know but yeah it's time so now we do have the king racing rod bearings in the car and it's time to like mount the oil pump and mount everything back up and also when you are tightening the new rod bearings the technique you are using is 20 newton meters of torque and then after that 70 degrees is what you're going to do so it's actually like two techniques in one uh, that you have to do like i said 20 uh, newton meters of torque and then 70 degrees after that and that's quite tight so uh, yeah now time to mount everything back up and hopefully she starts and runs great and everything should be all good It's time to add the oil filter and this lid and then oil. So you simply just drop that up there, make this on and tighten it. Yeah, 
But the mechanic just wanted to test my skyline with his son that's it's so nice to feel the passion of others and with the cars and everything I mean, it makes me so happy to make others happy but anyways we are now done with the m3 actually we have filled it with oil the oil fiddlers in we have new rod bearings that's the most important thing of the day and actually a thing that I have not talked too much about in my videos is that actually my power steering has been quite bad. It has been very hard uh, at low RPMs and that has been quite annoying. And yesterday when we actually removed the power steering because we needed to do that because of clearance issues, I asked the guy that I'm here with, uh, do you have a power steering pump left over? And he actually did. He has a lot of parts, so he had a, I think it's, he had a M50 power steering pump, but those are the same as the S50. So we have actually now swapped in a new or used uh, power steering pump that works great. So I'm really excited to try the car for the first time now and see how it is with the new rod bearings. And we can now finally rip it around and really let it eat without worrying too much about the engine because now it will hold and with that new power steering I am super excited so uh, we have started the car up we have turned it blah, 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 and done all of that and we have refilled some a little bit more oil because it was at minimum but now it's at maximum so I mean everything should be good to go this has been something I wanted to do ever since I bought the car just for like safety because I do not want to have uh, like a failure with the rods, like rod knock. That, that's not what you want to have. So uh, I'm excited that this has been done and uh, yeah. As you can hear, it's not does not have rod knock, the car works great now and oh yeah, so good and it turns really simple now the steering wheel is super easy to manu maneuver now with the new power steering pump no, no sounds you do not want to hear on an S50 it sounds just like it should that's really good Oh yeah. Oh, I am excited about this. So good. I like that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I am super happy that the rod bearings is now swapped out and the power steering and the new oil change. We got a real service. I'm really happy about that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have come this far in the video, I say thank you very much. Please go down in the comment section and tell me what kind of videos you do want to see with the M3 and the Skyline. And I will, of course, reply back and let's try to make it happen. See you later. Goodbye.